Hello, hello there, and welcome back to Wolfen aboard the Aran Conte di Cavour, which is called a project. This is an Italian top dog battleship, rank 6, battle rating 7.0, and it is very similar to the Aran Duilio from 1942. And there are several reasons why I again could go into the questions. Why was this introduced like that? And why is it called a project? Because that ship actually was finished put into service, modernized, and then sunk, and it saw therefore limited service. So I think that it shouldn't be at 7.0, I think it should be at 6.7. The guns have some nasty sting, but not quite the bite. The armor is not really worth um, 7.0, and I quickly go over the description here just that you know what we're talking. So first of all, the ship is with 52 kilometers per hour, not really the fastest, but also not the slowest, a bit faster than the RN Duilio. It has effectively the same guns as the RN Duilio and the same layout with 10 320 millimeter 44 auto model 1934 guns. Reload is 28.6 seconds. We have two triple and two super firing twin turrets. Uh, one set aft, one set forward. We have also the uh, 135 millimeter secondaries, uh, six twin turrets, three per side. They are actually good. Um, then we have not really the best AA, it's short range at best. We have a distributed armor scheme where um, you kind of see the modernization effort. The best spot is somewhere 250 millimeters, but that is way below the waterline. And um, the ship is therefore a bit more resilient versus diving shells, at least in theory. Uh, the upper strip that is at the waterline is 220 millimeters. That is more like Alaska level, Kronstadt level. Um, and also Japanese battlecruiser levels of thickness and yet it is a titled a battleship. We have then also some deck plating that is very distributed all over the place. Thickest part is 43 millimeters on the upper part and on the middle deck it is 50 millimeters. The turtle back is completely underwater and 45 millimeters thick with a construction armor slope angle of around 50 to 60 degrees. Um, the bulkheads are 130 millimeters thick, so watch out when angling, also because they are bent out. Um, the barbettes 240 millimeters with an extra 50 millimeters on top of this, and uh, turret faces 280 millimeters. So this is basically a modernized and up-armored World War One dreadnought with nasty guns, because you have two shell types. We have the a 320 millimeter APHE BC Pala round, which is a tier 2 upgrade and is designated as an AP CBC round, so go figure. And this has the highest penetration with 678 millimeters, and that is due to a mass velocity of 830 meters per second and a very low explosive mass of only 6.38 kilograms of TNT. That is less than the Scharnhorst on its 11 inch guns, which is notoriously bad and yeah that is so much less than also high pen AP rounds let's say from the British or from the German 15 inch guns to compare it here to the high caliber ones where the SMS Bayern and SMS Saxon have 25 kilograms of TNT yield and this you really feel in the post penetration damage effect um, and at 10 kilometers we still have 403 millimeters but you do not really feel that penetration advantage because the uh, post penetration damage effect is so lackluster and um, you might spice it up with the stock 320 millimeter granata perforante which is a sap round but uh, while it still has high penetration for a sap round with 427 millimeters at 1000 and uh, 241 millimeters at 10,000 meters. It only has 23.4 kilograms of TNT. That's only half what the Bayern's AP and roughly a third what the Bayern's SAP round has in terms of field. Just so that you know. It should be sufficient versus cruisers, but you do not really have that ammunition capacity um, you can actually run out of ammunition in a relatively long battle. 
and that has to do with your reload of 28.6 seconds and that you only have 390 plus 260 rounds of ammunition for your overall 10 guns. The secondary spied nicely uh, versus destroyers and cruisers and that's about it. So why did Gaijin introduce this as a project? Instead they could have chosen to introduce the Julio Cesare and I understand that they did not yet introduce the Littorio class which were the most modern Italian battleships with their 15 inch guns even though they would be really spicy and there would be four different ships to choose from and also to give finally Italy you know the edge with the really modern battleships that are on par with the Bismarck and Tirpitz with uh, Yamato with um, King George V class with the Iowa class and so forth North Carolina class you name it right and um, I think that the quote-unquote minor nations the minor naval nations such as Italy and France and the UK I know the irony um, that they deserve now something right and I absolutely don't understand Gaijin's introduction pattern it makes no sense maybe they just release the models when they are ready that they draw a plan like 10 years ago what you introduce and uh, then the models have different completion times I mean the 3d models I don't know um, so yeah so far so good it's a nice ship it has some nasty bite um, no it has a nasty sting but not a nasty bite and it just lacks the armor it's not really fun engaging something really uh, well protected forget about angling uh, you're vulnerable to air attacks so there is that um, and yeah that's all I can say about the ship it should be 6.7 it's not the ship's fault it's uh, how Gaijin introduced it and a few f a few words at the end of the video about my current health situation calm down guys everything's fine um, I was a few days gone because I had um, some serious chest pain and apparently I caught a virus and that is not unusual for men at my age apparently and I needed no medication um, I needed no defibrillator or whatever you call it and everything went well I had to be, I had to stay at the hospital for 48 hours and that's all she wrote so I'm fine and dandy again um, yes I know I relax I chill um, I'm not stressing myself out but just so that you know and yeah that's it for me today so thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more for you it's just a couple of clicks for me it means the world and as usual we will see each other on the battlefields in the skies and on the waves of war thunder